Jim, what the heck is this? Jersey, look at this thing. This is the Statue of Liberty. It says Bedloe Island, Statue of Liberty, 1937. Yeah, Bedloe Island, which is now called Liberty Island, where the Statue of Liberty, Lady Liberty rests. It's pretty much a replica of what was there because it's in the center of New York Harbor. And in the early days, there was a fort on there. It was the entire fort that this guy built. But it doesn't look like this anymore. None of these All are here. All this is gone now. The only thing they have is the ferry terminal. Yep. Right. right after the Second World War, they took Port Wood down. It's one of the most iconic pieces in American history. This is a detailed piece of folk art. It's amazing this guy constructed this thing. I mean, it made it out of matchsticks and cigar boxes and all these different elements. Is that just from a cheese box? So oh, yeah. All found material. All found oh, material. Yeah. A lot of folk art is made oh. from found material. This thing actually lights up. Oh, yeah. Right. There's a, a plug, plug right here. here. And I do have plug? the plug, but it's in my office. OK. It's fantastic. I could sit and stare at this thing for hours on end. I, Mike never saw this? Never. When you see this thing lit up, yeah. it makes it like something special. You got me. So, yeah. So I, I have listen, number, I have listen, number for I'm you. a fish, OK? You already <laughs> hooked me in. <laughs> OK. Jersey's like flopping over there, too. <laughs> yeah, OK. Hook this in. Let's go. Yeah. All right. What are we thinking? I spent about 10 hours working this thing, cleaning it up cleaning and whatnot. It. So if I spent 10 hours on it, yeah. I have to imagine how many hours the builder spent. This thing took years to build. It did not happen overnight. I'm thinking that the good number for me is like 5,500. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't freak me out at all. Yeah. So I know what I paid for it, which yeah. is, you know, a lot. Right. Before we go any farther, mm -hmm. is it okay if I send some pictures to a friend of mine? Absolutely. I want to see it lit up. Can you get the cord? Yeah, sounds good. I got a buddy, Bill. He sets up all the national shows. If I can get him on the phone, he's going to know everything about this. He's been dealing in folk art since the 1950s. It's Bill. All right, Bill, you got all the photos I sent you? Yes, sir, I did. There's no markings on it except for that plaque I sent you from 1937. It's still considered folk art, outsider art, right. because obviously the guy wasn't like a trained sculptor or, or anything like that where right. he had a background. So this is something that, you know, someone did because they wanted to do it. He right. was inspired. And it's pretty intricate. Uh, the guy must have took a lot of time putting this together, doing each individual piece. The subject matter is cool. It's patriotic. The uh -huh. size is great because it's two by four. It's not this massive, huge thing you yeah. know, with the fact that you can see people inside and all the detail and the little people that were there. It's a pretty good, interesting piece of uh, work. The only negative part about it is uh, who's going to display it and where they're going to have to display it. Yeah. So someone's got a great Americana collection with, you know, the Statue of Liberty stuff, Uncle Sam and all that. Yeah, it would be a great piece to have in a collection like that. Yeah, I mean, what's your overall gut feeling on this? thing and, and what's the retail on it if it was something that could go on a wall hang on a wall or if it was a little bit narrower and they could have fit on a shelf you know you're talking probably a lot more money but yeah. because of the fact that it's just that flat piece there it does take up uh some room my gut feeling on a retail would probably be about five thousand dollars okay okay mm. Hmm. Mm. Jim saying, mm. Yeah. He's been mm in us all day long, though. Uh, you know. Someone, you know, that would appreciate it. Uh, we would definitely pay that kind of money for it. I appreciate your thoughts on it. That's what I just want to get a different perspective on it. And um, sure. if we end up with it, I'll give you a call. All right. Then. All right. We'll talk Thank to you. Later. Thanks, Bill. Well, I, I think when you turn the damn thing on, it's a whole different picture. Well, I mean, you got the cord somewhere. I have I mean, the cord. Okay. I have to go Go grab the cord. Grab the cord. Let me I'll be back. talk about I'll this for back. a minute. I didn't think he was off on his number. Yeah, no, I agree. I think, I think we have to get this piece between 35 and four. I don't think he's gonna sell a frame less than five. I mean, uh, and I think, if, I know, you, but it, let me it, ask it, you, at the end of the day, are you gonna walk away from this? Yeah, I walked away from a lot of deals because my gut wasn't feeling it. But today, my brother is chirping in my ear saying, get this, get it, don't leave it behind. Let's plug this in. Right. Okay, let's see what we got here. <laughs> the crowning jewel. That looks like a little Christmas bulb. Okay, let's yeah, for see. sure, that's a Christmas bulb. Oh, 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 let there be light. Oh, wow, look at the little lights inside. So look in that here. That is cool. Look at the pictures in here, inside there. Oh, isn't that fantastic? <laughs> like, everybody's seated at dinner. Yeah. Can Same. you dim the lights? 
Wow. Look at that, Robbie. It's like the Christmas village, man, on steroids. You can see how much more dramatic it is when the thing is lit up at night. It's a folk art masterpiece. It's yeah, very creative, it like. for sure. I mean, a guy who had a real great imagination. It's historically correct enough to tell a story of how that building looked in that time period. You said 55. Yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, Bill's telling me 5,000 on a, at, at the right mark. Retail number. On a retail number. I want you to feel as comfortable as I do. Mm -hmm. What's the magic number? It's your piece. Um, I don't think you're going to be real happy with with my with well, my number. Um, I will I will bend. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have a lot of projects. You know, I have a lot of stuff. And as enamored as I am with this piece, and and I do love it. I already have many hours into it, and I know how much, many, many, many more hours I would have to put in to make it perfect. I'm thinking like 42. Doing this for over 35 plus years, this is a piece that you don't just walk into anybody's place and see. You're not gonna find another one. Four grand and I'm in. And it'll get done. It will? Yeah. Yeah, I can clean this. You can? Oh yeah felt like, should I hold out? Should I not hold out? And I thought, you know what? It's gonna be a long time before I get, you know, like, oh my gosh. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> let me know when it's done and I can. Uh, you Thank know. you, buddy. Hey, this is what we came here for, right mm -hmm. here. It's going home with us today. Mike's gonna freak when he sees this thing lit up. And that they're gonna finish that darn thing and, and it's gonna be great and I don't care what kind of money they get for it in the end because, you know, it's in their hands now. I feel blessed that it's going to a good home and that's a good thing for me. Thanks, well. Jim! Thank you. <laughs> it's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.